affected by the epidemic, the Tsuchi Recycling Station in Malaysia has been closed for nearly half a year. As the epidemic starts to slow down, Tsuchi reopened the recycling station in Jawabaru so people can do recycling again. After closing for nearly half a year, the Chiji Chuhoburu branch in Malaysia resumed its monthly recycling activity. People send recyclables which have been piled for several months to the recycling station. There is no recycling in these three or four months. Everyone keeps the recyclables at home, so piling up many. Sometimes we would go to a store to collect their recyclables, which took more than one truck to bring back. After a few months, volunteers went back to the recycling station and are still skillful at the task of recycling. I'm very pleased to start doing it again, otherwise it's boring to stay at home. I feel happy when doing recycling here. I feel good. Also, we can help clean up the environment and protect the earth. The elderly Chichi volunteers dare not take it lightly when facing the epidemic. The government doesn't prohibit the people who are over 60s from coming out. It's not encouraged for them to go out. If you think you are healthy enough, you can still come here to volunteer if you want. We have to strengthen our protection and do our part well. We must strictly follow the epidemic prevention measures. At least we must wear masks, wash our hands and take body temperature. Different from collecting garbage as a whole, this wave of epidemic has opened up another new situation in environmental protection. During this epidemic, it is actually a good opportunity for us to promote sorting of recyclables. People are encouraged to get off their cars to do sorting by themselves. Like before, the recyclables were very messy and not sorted properly. Sometimes people even send the whole garbage here without sorting. But the situation seems to have improved now. Although the epidemic has disrupted the pace of life, it also brought learning opportunities for people to sort recyclables and practice it in daily life.